Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to do a mesh of a part, make an analysis and see the results. First of all, we need to open the pattern and look at where do you want to save our new project. Well, in this case, I already created a new folder with the name of bracket. And there is all the stuff that we're going to do, it will be on this folder. We're going to name this with bracket there you go and put ok have to wait a few seconds this configuration we're gonna keep it that way so we put ok now we have to import the part and I have a part on SOLIDWORKS so we need to change this one for a SOLIDWORKS but you can see there is Katia SOLIDWORKS IGs but we wanna select the SOLIDWORKS there is our part we select it and apply. We wait. We put OK. As you can see, this is the part that we are going to work on it. But we are going to change the appearance of the part. You can see right here that we have three options. But we are going to keep it on the smooth shaded. And there it is. And the part it look good. So now we're going to pass to the meshing. On the object we're going to put mesh, but we don't want the type surface, we want solid. There it is, uh, the input list, we're going to put the object, our solid one. There it is, uh, uncheck the automatic calculation and put 0 0.5 and apply. There it is. Now we have the mesh, but we don't have any restriction, any force, so that is the next step. We are going to pass to displacement constraint here on loads and BCs, and we are going to create displacement, nodal, uh, set the name, well, fix, and input data we are going to put 0, 0, 0, that's because we need a restriction on the plane X, Y, Z. There you will go. OK. And select the application region. Uh, we're going to select the inner side surface of the four holes. There is the four holes. To select, we need to put the bottom plus active. This will permit us to select more than one surface at a time. And the other bottom is the bottom of surface or face. And now, carefully, we have to select the inner side surface. Very, very carefully. There you go. There is. Okay. One more time. And, and there you go. I'm going to add this and put OK. And this is going to be apply. Now you can see the four holes with the restriction that we input. Next step is the pressure. Here we are going to change with pressure. And we have to put input data. We are going to put 2500. OK. Select an application region. We are going to select this interface. Add OK. OK, now apply. Uh oh, what is this? Uh, the name. We have to put the name. We're going to put pressure. OK, and now apply. There it is. You can see there is the pressure that we put. OK. Now we have to put a certain material to this part. We go to isotropic and put properties. On elastic modulus, we're going to put 13 elevated to 6 uh, Poisson radio on uh, 0.3. OK. And the name will be steel and apply. Now you can see there is an existing material with the name of steel. Next step, click on solid. We are going to put the name of bracket. And why we have to do this step? 
Well, because we only create a material, but the material is not attached to the part. And now we have here the steel that we are going to attach to that part. Select application region, and we are going to select obviously the solid one. Okay, apply. Now all of all the part is of steel. Almost finished. We only need to analyze and see the results. Now we are going to see the solution tab. We need linear static. Okay, and subcases. We need the default. Apply and cancel. And apply again. Uh, yes, everything is alright. Okay, we have to wait. We quit this, doesn't matter. And now we need the nest trend. Here is the nest trend. Okay, we have here the BDF of the bracket. It's okay, we're going to open it. Open and run. We are going to wait a few seconds and get back to the pattern. Uh, we have to do a XDB, but before we are going to see the F06 and see there is no uh, photo. So we are going to control F, write photo, find next. Okay, there is no file, so our results are going to be okay. Now we click on XDB, apply, and we are ready to see the results. This depends on what do you want to see. For example, displacement transactional, animated, apply, and there you go. Uh, okay. It's alright, we can stop the animation, we can see another result. Now we are going to pass to stress tensor, put pan misses, okay, and the deformation result, displacement, transitional, animate, and apply. <laughs> Whoa, this is a little exaggerated, this animation, but okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep the animation well as you can see we can learn so much with this type of projects you can play with the mesh with the forces the restriction the materials and the infinite part you can create and analyze well thank you for watching this video and if you like it don't forget to subscribe and give me a like my name is Ricardo Caranas and see you later